Hello, everybody. This is Kevin with Inspiring How You See That, and we have Brian today. Hey, guys. So we're going to be talking a little bit of, you know, a little bit more of trivia. Yep. But we're also going to mix it up and have some fun today, too, and uh, talk about some of the local foods that are here in Pennsylvania. Yep, here in, in Ohio. Area. Yeah. So we're going to focus, like I say, in the Erie area where we both grew up, where I still am, um, and then some of where you're kind of adopted hometown now, the Columbus, Ohio area. So mm -hmm. um, this is because we want to mix it with sports. So. You know, we feel food and drink goes perfect with sports. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do a trivia of the Erie Seawolves, which is our minor league baseball team here in Erie. Yeah. And been yeah. around for a while, so we think this will be fun. Yeah. So let's, uh, first off, let's open up our drinks, which are from Grandpa's Cheese Barn. Grandpa's and, Cheese Barn. And we'll, uh, you know, we'll put some pictures behind us. Yeah. And we, we had talked about them before and had some, sampled some of their cheese and their their products are great so we yep. just kind of wanted to put that out there during this segment um so we're gonna have a little bit of a little bit of drink with it and i got else? black cherry i have a uh, blue raspberry so definitely there's there's all kinds of flavors guys so if you Ooh, that's good if you do go that's really um, good out there um to the this one's in the norton uh location norton ohio um, but they have a few locations and you, we'll put the, you know, the website and the links and everything in there. But if you do go, they, they have all kinds of different flavors. Yeah. So I just kind of picked two. I haven't had the good pop choice, yet, the black so I'm going to try it out. And... Cheers. Ooh, this is good. Thumbs up. You guys should definitely put this, you know, get this uh, marketed <laughs> at the uh Yeah, blue stadiums. raspberry. Yeah, the blue raspberry is great. So we should, you know, when... Uh, the sea was at the stadium yep definitely Something absolutely right next thing we're going to try and this is an eerie staple this is it's smith's hot dogs mm -hmm. now smith's hot dogs are the best in the world i don't care what anybody says yeah they're the greatest i mean they've been around for about 100 years i believe yeah and uh, like we said before these are not paid advertisements nope. by these the the you know we've been to both these places yep great places but there's some things that we haven't tested out that's right or checked out and we'll tell you if we like it or we don't like it but they are good. So if now we these we've had, so we won't and, pretend that we haven't. Before. Well, Smith's, I grew up, you know, same place you, yep. you did, and then I moved to, to Columbus, you know, over 20 years ago. So I mean, um, Smith's. Every time I come up, I gotta buy, buy some. a bunch. So of So now yeah. that I'm, uh, uh, you know, we're back here in Pennsylvania, uh, I got to bring back a bunch. That's of them. right. So let's try. Yeah. I mean, we don't have buns. No, no buns. We're um, roughing you know, it. Yeah, we're roughing it. So mm. these are great. And these are these are the these are the skin on. Mm-hmm. So these are the skin on. These are the natural casing. Skin on or skin off. Right. right. Yep. yep. So I prefer the natural yeah. casing with the skin. Mm-hmm. Now they're so good. Now what's really good about these is you know you get the overall great flavor and the texture. You know you mm -hmm. how you get some hot dogs and the texture is just it's soggy. It's like a soggy. It's like they ground up anything they could find. Yeah. You know with Smiths they they really. This is like um, all bologna. It's so good. Yeah, and they really spend some time within their recipe, and this has been a you know the recipe for hundreds of years. Mm -hmm. And you know this, and I'm glad I, I believe that Smiths has tried to step out into Ohio yes. because there's there's certain market areas that they can only cover, but I believe they're starting to sell some places in Ohio. Mm -hmm. but, um, that's exciting. So in 2021, maybe they'll go out further. I, I know, know they've gone down to the Pittsburgh area, and just recently they're in like Raleigh, North Carolina. They started selling them. You already ate yours. I did. It was, I'm hungry. It yeah. was good. These are also made famous in the uh, the first two eleven video. Their cover of Sweet Child of Mine. Mm -hmm. Remember, Smith's yeah. Hot Dogs was in that, as was this guy for a couple seconds. <laughs> so yeah, that kind were, of put him on the map. Famous. I was yeah. for like three seconds. Yeah. Hey, I'll take it. <laughs> so, so what kind of trivia questions you got? I'm gonna eat my hot. Yeah. Dog so here. let's do the first trivia. And again, these are all based around the Erie Sea Wolves, our minor league baseball team. The first question is they are affiliated with a major league team and they have been with this particular team since 2001. And what major league baseball team are the Erie Seawolves affiliated with? Mm, that's a good one. Number two, the Erie Seawolves had a future Cy Young Award winner. So the best pitcher in, in major league baseball play here in Erie for the Seawolves. So who was that future Cy Young Award winner? It's not Sandy Koufax. Neither. No, not Sandy Koufax. Yeah. That'd be a good guess, but a yeah. <laughs> little, bit, little bit before the time. Yeah. <laughs> and our final question revolving the Erie Seawolves. This one's a, a little unique. So there actually was an NFL quarterback 
who was drafted early in the first round in the late 90s, who played baseball semi-pro here for the Erie Seawolves. Now, we won't give you the team because that'll give it away, but who is that NFL quarterback who played baseball for the Erie Seawolves? Hmm. So get your thinking caps That's on. True. Let us know down below. Mm-hmm. And then we're going back to the food. So our next two... But, 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 but first... We'll get to the food, but what we want to tell you, too, is don't forget about when you do go to the Seawolves games, they have that dollar, yes. dollar dog night. night. It's buck so if night. you guys want to try these hot dogs, go out there and they have the, the buck night. Yeah. Hey, I don't remember I what the days beer is do- I, I want to say it's Mondays. It used to be Mondays. Yeah, it used it to be Mondays. But, uh, you know, it it's usually always been Mondays, and I've been to many games. You know, The tickets are cheap. And- the hot dogs are a buck. The beer is a buck. Mm-hmm. Fun it's times. Time. Fun times. So what are we trying next? So this... Is an eerie specialty that's only you can only get in this area, which I don't know why, but it's awesome. And they're called pepperoni balls. Now we talked about this in our eerie video that we did a long time ago. Mm-hmm. We're actually gonna show you. So these I got at Arts Bakery on 26th Street in Erie, which is iconic. And if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm actually putting some dip, and we're gonna talk about that on, exactly. the, on the plate. So that was why I had to open up something here. So these pepperoni balls are exactly what you think they are. They're they're balls of dough filled with pepperoni. Mm-hmm. And they're phenomenal. These are some of the greatest treats ever. Mm-hmm. And these are really good. Now, we're going to talk again about, and we did the cheese segment yep. for Grandpa's Cheese Barn. And we, we're going to put in the back, uh, we have some Dilly Blue Dip. Yep, from Grandpa's Cheese Barn. And this dip's awesome on, uh, you know, chips. Uh, you know, you can even mix it Chunks in with, bread with, and... with, with cooking. Yep. So what we're going to do pepperoni balls that's right so we're gonna try some the 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 dilly blue dip we're gonna put it together uh on the pepperoni balls and let you guys know how it tastes so go ahead and grab yours mm. i'm gonna just smear it in there so here's some of the pepperoni ball yep. with the dilly, dilly blue dip, dip. yeah mm. Mm. yeah that's really good what's in this dip that's some excellent dip. That is. You That's can, really you good. You can really taste the the dill. Yeah. And it, and it actually goes well. I mean, it, it seems to go well a lot. Right? <laughs> it mixes so, with I mean, the pepperoni ball perfectly. If you guys are eating hot dogs too, the Smith hot dogs. Yeah. You could put that right on with the, the hot dog instead of like relish or anything like that. The, exactly. I think the dip would go better than relish. What do you think? Yeah, because it's got that, like, like you said, the dill taste. Mm-hmm. So that was some good stuff. So that we, was good. We finished up the pepperoni balls, and those were from where? Those are from Arts Bakery here in Erie on 26th Street. And that yeah. place has been around, well-known, awesome food. Yeah, and we'll put the link in there if you guys are in Erie or if you're passing through, check it out. Or yep. if not, um, I don't know if they ship them or not. I wouldn't imagine they would taste the same. But <laughs> Got to get know, them fresh. Yeah, you, gotta, you definitely got to get them fresh. Um, same thing with Grandpa's Cheese Barn. Yep. Um, the dip was awesome. Yeah, that was and really good. That might be a little harder to ship out unless you dry you ice. You got to keep it cool. Yeah. Yeah. So and then you know we of course washed it down with our pop soda, Delicious whatever you want to call it. You know everybody calls it a different thing. Mm-hmm. I've, I've called it both pop and soda. So. Here in Erie, it's pop. This area yeah. we always call it pop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We call them both. Yeah. It's, it's good stuff. It so all works. It's really good. But we always have to finish with dessert. Mm-hmm. You got to have dessert. So yeah, we thought, what's a good Erie dessert? Mm-hmm. I came up with two put together. So, Erie has a special kind of candy that's nowhere else. It's called sponge candy. Mm-hmm. I know that sounds weird, but it's basically what, like a nougat covered in chocolate. Mm-hmm. And here's a piece of it. And we actually got Super this. Super light, too. It, very like, light. Very light. Yeah. That's why they call it sponge. Yeah, and, and you'll <laughs> see when you bite into it, it looks like a sponge. It's got the air pockets and all that. and mm-hmm. It's kind of kind of that texture it's really good mm-hmm. and we got it from stefanelli's which is a well-known eerie establishment you know been around forever so another thing that we want to you know present yeah. for eerie. Oh, shut up. Exactly. And we've had their chocolates we love them oh yeah but we're gonna we're letting you guys know you know this in this video that hey try it out check it out absolutely so, so let's try the sponge candy cheers mm. Mm. see brian just eats his full-on whole mm-hmm. i like to savor mine or you, you know, jump in. Eat one little bite. Look at it for a second. <laughs> Savor. Be like, this is good stuff. <laughs> I just am like, gone. 
Mm-hmm. But that's a perfect way to end the meal. Mm -hmm. So again, we had the Smith's hot dogs. We had the Dilly Blue Dip from Grandpa's Cheese Barn. We had the pepperoni balls from Art's Stefanelli's Chocolate. And we had the pop from Grandpa's Cheese Barn. Mm -hmm. and, and don't forget... Everything was awesome. You guys got to remember the trivia. Yes. You know, within this. We don't want to get you sidetracked with all the food. and. But like we've always said, food and sports go together perfectly. So we'll see if you can answer that. And, you know, put in the comments which, if you've been to any of these places, mm -hmm. and if you liked it, if you haven't, and you're going to come up that way or even into Ohio, Pennsylvania. Um, and, again, we'll have all the links in there. But if you go to one of them, let us know. Let yeah. us know what you what, what you like best. I mean, especially Grandpa's Cheese Barn. They have a huge selection. I know Stefanelli's does, too, as well. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't been to the bakery yet, but I'm sure they've, they've had a lot of Oh, they got tons things. of stuff. Yep. So, yeah. And let us know, you know, wherever area you are, let us know what that area is and what kind of specialty foods do you guys have there. Because if we're ever in the area, we'd love to check that kind of stuff out. So Yeah, because if we're doing, might be an interview or something, we, right. we can all... Or just know, going to a show and, yeah, or driving through or... Just test it out and then talk about it, you know, especially Absolutely. if we like it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So again, let us know what you think. Uh, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. As always, thanks for spending this time with us. We love having fun with you guys. God bless and rock on. See you next time.